See, I like, I, I, I think they could bring some of this back. I think pretty much Ga or Galen Merrick's story, not, yeah, Galen, Galen, yeah, damn right. See, I kind of forgot his name, Star Killer. I think most of his story could be brought back in the can, or brought back in the can, I think. I think it could. It just again, there's some small stuff like I'm thinking about the formation of the rebellion and stuff. That's that's a little you may need to tinker with that a bit. But for the majority of stuff, I mean, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like that much to fix. I mean, I'd love to see Kashyyyk back, whether it be in the original trilogy or in uh, Rebels. I read. I, I loved it how it appeared in the aftermath, though. I loved that, even though I kind of want to see it back in the flesh again because it's such a beautiful planet. Even though we kind of, again, we got a Battlefront 2, but I'm watching the movies or the TV shows. Just such a cool planet. I love how they did that, too. You know, at a time where they really didn't have the advancements in technology we do today, they had considerable advancements, but, you know, we've had more along the years. It's been about a decade, so things have changed, but. I love that, like, aging transition. Rise, my apprentice. Sam Whitworth. What is your will, my master? Your training is nearly complete. Superman. <laughs> it's time to face your first true test. Your spies have located a Jedi? Yes, Master Ram Kota. He is attacking a critical Imperial ship. I'll come back to the spies thing in a minute. Destroy him and bring me his lightsaber. I shall leave it once, master. The Emperor cannot discover you. <laughs> Need no witnesses. Kill everyone aboard, Imperials and Kota's men alike. Oh, Vader looks so cool in this game. As you wish, my master. He looks so cool wherever. Anyways, what I was going to say about the spies thing. Imagine how easy it would be. Again, the majority of these events probably could, could be somehow put back into canon. I think mostly Galen's story could be, for the most part. Um, but... Imagine the spies thing. It'd be so easy to turn into the Inquisitors. It just, it would fit. <laughs> I've seen a lot of theories about that too. Yeah, Mike, we'll come back to that. I hoped that using an older training module would catch you off guard and allow me to finally kill you. I'm sorry I failed you again. I'm sure you'll keep trying. Yeah, but do me a favor. Don't ambush me anytime. Oh, it's you now. <laughs> yes, why we Shh, who's that? Ah, uh, yes. Your new pilot has finally arrived, Master. Accessing Imperial Records. How cool would it be to have Proxy in the new canon? It's in Juno Eclipse, <laughs> born on Coralag, where she became the youngest student ever accepted into the Imperial Academy. Decorated combat pilot with over 100 combat missions, and commanding officer during the bombing of Calix. Handpicked by Lord Vader to lead his Black Five Squadron, but later reassigned to a top secret mission. Is there a psychological profile in there too? <laughs> Bye -bye. Actually, yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. It just looks so funny when they do that. I can tell you, she's going to be impossible to reprogram. You know she's right there. Do you know why you're here? Yes, my orders are clear, and to keep your ship running and fly you wherever your missions require. Did Vader tell you that he killed our last pilot? No. <laughs> I can only assume that he gave Lord Vader good reason to do so. I will not. Well, let's hope so. I'm sick of training new pilots. <laughs> what have you done to my ship? Mm -hmm. Improved it. I've taken the liberty of upgrading the Rogue Shadow sensor array. Now you'll be able to spy on any suspect ships within the entire system. You are one of Vader's spies. You don't need to know anything about my missions except where I'm going. Now I need to jump to Nar Shadda. Can you handle that? Of course. <laughs> Their mouths, pretty close to precise, almost. I mean, I've seen a lot of games where it just looks really sloppy. And I can think, as much as I like it, I if I remember this right, Star Trek had that case. Where their mouths was, didn't look exactly right. the Rogue Shadow Master. I have recently installed this training room on board oh, for your We have training rooms. You know, I've already trained before. <laughs> Several times. At Lord Vader's request, all modules are also programmed to try and kill you. Just 
just like me. <laughs> grip is one of your core force powers. To pick up an object using grip, press and hold the grip button. Excellent. Similarly, move the left stick to move the object back and forth and left and right. Good. Note that you cannot move while concentrating. <laughs> now use the right stick to move the object up, down, left and right. Excellent, Master. Now prove your mastery of grip. I'm only so good because I've done it like fifty times. <laughs> well, you have to smash the glass panels. Seems relatively simple. No glass panels here. Excellent. I have shattered glass in Star Wars. You can also use grip to pick up and throw an object. Press and hold the grip button to grip an object. Then point the left stick in the direction you wish to throw and release the grip button. None. Now no. demonstrate your newfound power by gripping and throwing these objects to knock over the three frightened stormtroopers standing in front of you. Yeah, that's right. You'd be paranoid because I'm about to knock you over. Uh -oh. Well, uh -huh. You have completed, completed this training module. Again. <laughs> Here we go. And we're loading. And moving on. There we go. Man, that's so cool, too. The executor of the destruction. I think they... Oh. Proxy, give me the time. Did they change that in canon? I think they did slightly. According to Imperial Records, Master Rock was a respected general in the Clone Wars. I think it was in the comics. You're hunting Jedi. And then, of course, Coda and Kanan are very similar now. From uh, Kanan from Rebels. Master Coda was a military for... genius, but felt that clone soldiers were unfit for battle. Instead, he relied on his own militia. So, there were no clones in his squad when Order 66 was issued? And after Order 66, he vanished. Official Imperial Records actually claim he's dead. This is such an awesome game. Why come out of hiding and attack the Empire now? He wants to be found. Then we're walking into a trap. How many pilots have you lost before me? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm just wanting a long line of these people. <laughs> Lock down the command center and get that hologram projector up and running. Yes, sir. Tell all squads to fan out and funnel any opposition towards us. Explosive charges on levels 2, 5, and 12, just like we planned. General Coda. I wonder how many levels there are of a station, because the elevator shaft, at least, is really tall. Or the... What would you call it? It's not an elevator shaft in Star Wars, is it? Lower the containment field... I'm trying to think of what it's called in Star Trek. The men to get in their position. Yes, General. <sighs> Lifts? Maybe lifts. Eclipse to Star Killer. Here we go. I'll be moving the rogue shadow out of firing range while you attend to your mission. The onboard scanner should be able to I see the TIE bomber there. It's awfully 2D though. I can via your Woo! Here's our lightsaber. Here we go. That's kind of some droids on the way. <laughs> That's, I guess it's kind of droid, cru or droid cruelty. Except these droids really don't do anything. They're just like, boom. Are, are these, wait a minute. I think it's those droids that like the gunk, or they're the uh, gunk, gunk droids, I think is what they're called. I've, I've seen gawk too. I love that you can open the windows here as well and just like get a nice view and smash them. And this one seems pretty easy, but you can actually smash the tie fighter and I'll show you guys the trick to do it. So, there we go. You can blast through doors by using force push. Again, game, it's not like I haven't played this before. <laughs> Wrong object. Let's knock over a couple of frightened stormtroopers. I love the look of this game too. It's like very old looking for the for the characters. And of course, uh oh. And we're about to be attacked, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Get rid of the stormtroopers. Okay, how many more do we have? Oh, there's only more. There's so many of them! I need that holocron. I'm gonna try and go over the holocron locations for each level again. 
if I miss one, um, and I happen to notice it, if I don't remember where it is, I will mention where it is in the, in the following video, but I will try my best to do all the holocron stuff just in case you haven't, you haven't seen this video and you want to know where it is, I want to make these as complete as possible. And it isn't the same circumstances, probably a lot of people are like, well, you know, you're just playing the story mode. Um, it's different from the Lego games. And I know I've said in the past, like, I'm going to go back and just replay, you know, eventually. It's, kind of, it's, it's, it's an entirely different setup. So this way, it's more, you can just do it in one shot. It's just, it doesn't really matter. It's not like you're grabbing mini kits. And it's, it's why I, I try to avoid, like, all the Lego games I do. All the, all the stuff I do for those games. I try and avoid the mini kits in the story mode level so I can have kind of a, you know, a complete guide in the free play. You'll need to find a way through that door. Just in case somebody's looking for it. You know, one helpful, quick way to do it. I'm like, yeah, we'll do it in free play. Even though it hasn't always worked out. Because some mini kits just really, really, really want to be picked up. <laughs> so, you know, they, they try to make their presence known and, you know, remind me that, oh, yeah, we want to be picked up way earlier. We want to throw you off your game so that you have to remember all the locations of these things even though you've already gotten them. Yeah, it's quite irritating. So there are a couple, like, I, I know, um, definitely for LEGO Star Wars, yeah, I gotta, you know, mention a few, and I gotta go back and probably remember where they're at. <laughs> okay, here we go. Opening the door. Oh, we've got the holocron. Silly old me. Here I am talking about it, and I'm like, 